All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I'm Jean Morrison as the University Provost and Chief Academic Officer. I want to thank you all for joining us today as we mark this really exciting moment in the life of our university and in the city of Boston. The building we break ground on today is in every sense a game changer for Boston University, a place that will have a transformative effect on both the look and feel of the Charles River campus and on our capacity to lead in the rapidly growing fields of computing and data science. Before I go any further, I want to give a special thanks to Mayor Walsh for taking time out of his schedule to be with us. I want to recognize our President Bob Brown, our trustees and overseers, and the outstanding project team, including our partners at KPMB Architects, all of whom were vital in making this day possible. As we know, data is changing the way in which all of us work, conduct research and scholarship, and approach some of society's most vexing challenges. Virtually every sector of the global economy, from industry and government to medicine and higher education, is impacted in significant ways by the use of large amounts of data and increasingly sophisticated computing. At Boston University, we see this reflected every day in the demand for our, from our students for academic programs in data science and computational fields, and in the explosion of a job market that demands skills that transcend traditional academic boundaries. It's the responsibility of a good research university to produce scholarship and solutions that answer the demands that society sets for us. But it's the mark of a great research university to define the future to be the engine in the creation of fundamental new knowledge that helps transform society and improve the quality of life for people around the world. Boston University has long had a remarkable roster of talent across the fields of computing and data science, but never a chance like the one we celebrate today to bring together so many bright minds and new ideas under one roof where the capacity for collaboration and creation will be unfettered. As the new home for the departments of computer science and mathematics and statistics and the newly created faculty of computing and data sciences and the Hariri Institute, the building we open here today at 665 Com Ave is far more than an avant-garde structure of glass and steel. It's an opportunity to harness the strength of this university, its great faculty, to produce new research and ideas with transformative power across dozens of fields from technology and computing to business and science, law, the arts, public health, the humanities, and the social sciences. This new building and the new faculty, technology, and enhanced capabilities we introduce through it we know we're setting the table for something very new and exciting here on Com Ave. As the pilings go in and the girders go up and the Center for Computing and Data Sciences begins to take shape over the next couple of years, we look forward to reporting on and sharing in that success with all of you here today. And with that, it's my great pleasure to turn things over to the president of Boston University, Bob Brown. Let me thank you all for being with us this afternoon for this important event in the history of the university. And I want to personally thank Mayor Walsh for being with us and for all the support he has offered the university and especially for this important project. I also want to acknowledge Pam Beal, who chairs the BU Alumni Task Force. Pam and her task force have been partners with us in an amazing number of projects. Thank you, Pam. We have several speakers this afternoon, and Provost Jean Morrison has already talked about the importance of computing and data sciences for the future of our society, our economy, our city, and for Boston University. I want to speak for a moment about this parking lot. 
its history and its importance as, as a place and as the home of the new center uh, to Boston University. I don't have to tell people in this room uh, about the history of this university as an urban private university. Born in downtown Boston, migrated to the Charles River campus to Commonwealth Avenue, and has been a partner for decades and decades with the city along the stretch of the Charles River as we've developed our campus. Not long ago, this parking lot was the home for a Burger King. And at, when this project was born about five years ago and we didn't want it really known what we were doing, it was secretively called BK1. The location, though, could, be, could not be more strategic to the university, and it is not for selling hamburgers. Today, it's at the heart of our campus, and at the entrance to Granby Street that leads to the Dahoud Alumni Center and the Leventhal Center, where tens of thousands of visitors come to the university every year. And across the street, diagonally, is our growing science and engineering complex. Today, Boston University is a leading private uni research university, competing and competing well with the finest universities in the country for talented students and faculty. Last year, our faculty raised almost $600 million of externally sponsored research support, placing us solidly among our peers in the American Association of Universities. And we are not standing still. We are adapting and growing, especially in those fields that will be essential to our future. The Center for Computing and Data Sciences represents one of those investments. Moreover, and very importantly, the center is placemaking for Boston University. No doubt, with the remarkable design that we have, everyone will know where Boston University is along the Charles River skyline. You can imagine in a few years, when you're giving directions to find BU, someone will just point and say, you see that? The stack. Go there and turn right, right? And with more than directions, the center will be a beacon for future generations of our students and faculty to, to our place as a great private research university. That makes the center very important because it stands for the university today and in the future and the years to come. And that is why sustainability of the center in a carbon-free world is so important. The little orange standpipes that you see dotting the parking lot mark the places where the drilling rig has drilled wells for the vast geothermal system that will heat and cool this building. It will become the largest geothermally powered building in New England. The center will stand as a remarkable commitment to our climate action plan and our commitment to be carbon neutral by 2040. Boston University is at the heart of a city committed to mitigating climate change, both by becoming carbon neutral and by becoming resilient to the inevitable effects of, of climate. We are very proud of our faculty who have worked with the Institute for Sustainable Energy in partnership with the Green Ribbon Commission that has led the creation of the Boston Free, the Carbon Free Boston Plan, a blueprint for Boston and for other major areas about how to reach carbon neutrality. We're very fortunate to be in a city where the government and civic leaders are leading the urban response to climate change. Mayor Walsh has been a champion for preparing the city for climate change, and I want to thank him for his leadership and ask him to make a few remarks. Thank you very much, President Brown, and thank you for, for uh, that acknowledgement of the city. Uh, to the Provost Morrison, thank you. Uh, to the Chair of the Board, uh, Ken Fell, thank you very much as well. To the Board members that are here today, uh, thank you as well. And to all the entire BU community, uh, from the Neighborhood Associations to uh, all the groups that were here, uh, thank you for being part of this project. Um, Tommy Vitolo, the State Representative from Brookline is here. Thank you, Representative, for being here with us today as well. We're, we're taking Brookline as part of Boston. Dudes, we're working on something right now. The tax base works for me, so I'll take that. I appreciate that. Uh, to uh, Chief Chris Cook and everyone at the environment team in, in, in the city of Boston, 
Uh, I know what the president just said uh, made Chris smile. I know that. Uh, and I want to thank, thank you guys for your great work. Uh, today marks a, a major milestone in BU's long history, and I'm glad that we could all be here for the special occasion. Um, BU is, is an anchor institution in our city. It's a reason why people come to Boston, stay in Boston, and love Boston. Uh, when young people get educated here, a lot of, I, I don't have the percentages, but I would assume the largest percentage of students that come to the city of Boston to get educated that are from, that stay in Boston, I'd have to say probably Boston University is that school. So I want to want to congratulate you on that and thank you for that. Uh, this, this school is a hub of creativity and discovery. It's also a great steward of our city values. Uh, this, this school it has invested over the years a lot in our different communities. Uh, in the last five years since I've been mayor, expanding the access to education with scholarship programs for Boston Public School students uh, and city employees. Thank you for that. Uh, they're a good neighbor. They continue to tr contribute to the city's efforts around transportation, public space, and climate. They're the number one contributor to our pilot program for education institutions in 2019. <laughs> I want to thank you for that. Uh, back in 2014, I, I issued some of a challenge to our city's landlords, including our universities. Uh, we started to see lots of new investments in the city of Boston. Uh, lots of new construction was starting up back in 2014. Um, I said we should aim to be a world-class design uh, of a city in new buildings and should balance the, the new and the old and how do we really change what we have as a city. Uh, BU certainly stepped up in a big way and took me literally. <laughs> um, when President Brown showed me the building, um, I'll, I'm honest now today, that day I told it's, I love it, I was shocked. Uh, <laughs> it's certainly a bold landmark. Uh, it's a symbol of creativity and innovation. And, and as you learn more about the building and as you see the stats that are being shown on, on, the, on the screens, um, it's really an amazing building on the outside. And it's just going to match the amazing people and what's happening on the inside uh, of, that, of, this, of this building and this great institution. Um, BU's engineering, math, and data science programs are going to be taken to a whole new level, the next level. Uh, it will going to create 1,000 construction jobs and hundreds of permanent jobs here. I know some of the staff, the, the, the folks that are here, they're gonna, they, they said this is their new home, so congratulations. Um, this project, as President Brown alluded to, is also another major step in our, our fight against climate change. It will be the most energy efficient large building in Boston's history, not just BU's history, but Boston's history. <laughs> it will use all renewable energy, zero fossil fuels. It will be highly resilient to climate impacts. Um, and, and BU is one of our city's largest landholders, and it's one of BU's largest buildings ever. And that's a big deal. And it's also going to be built by John Fish and Suffolk Construction, so congratulations. <laughs> but B, BU has been a leader on climate for a long time. They've worked with the city on some of our biggest targets and in working on our environmental planning efforts. In 2017, I had the great opportunity to announce Boston will accelerate its climate goals and be carbon neutral by 2050. And right away, President Brown and Boston University said, how can I help? They helped us develop our carbon-free Boston report. It's the foundation for the biggest steps we need to take moving forward. Next week, I'm in City Hall, I'll be signing an executive order requiring new municipal buildings to be zero net carbon. And we're developing... And we're also developing new energy performance standards for all new buildings in our city. The Com Computing and Data Science Center will be a model for what we would like to achieve all across our city moving forward. So as President Brown said, if you're lost and you're looking for a place you want to find BU, you point across the river and say, right there, you go there and take a right, we'll be able to do the same when it comes to environmental, environmental buildings saying that that building right there set the standard that started us here in the city of Boston to continue to the great work in, in combating climate change. For, for years, thank you. And for years to come, this building will stand up as a symbol of Boston and BU's climate leadership. So as the excitement of this building continues to get back, 
and what's going to happen on the inside of this incredible building. It's going to be a model for us moving forward, and that this will spread beyond Boston, beyond New England. It will spread right across the United States of America, and I want to thank you. It's going to help inspire students to think big and act with integrity. I hope that it's going to inspire a whole new wave of excellent in, excellence in design and sustainability in Boston and beyond. And I would just like to uh, personally thank President Brown. Um, he's been a, a great friend since I've been mayor of the city of Boston. Uh, he's a person that I didn't, really didn't have a relationship with uh, prior to becoming the mayor. Uh, and since becoming the mayor, watching what BU has done. And I'm so happy for him today because I know what this building means to him uh, and his mark on this great institution. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mayor Walsh. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Boston University, Kenneth Feld. Thank you very much. Part of what's fulfilling about serving on the Board of Trustees is that we get to participate in transforming an institution and helping to launch projects and initiatives that promise to expand knowledge and to improve and often save lives. We've been interested to learn more about what's happening in the data sciences and to work with our academic leadership in moving Boston University forward in this area, which is why we're breaking ground for this amazing and environmentally friendly center and why the university has established the Faculty for Computing and Data Sciences. President Brown has described the building design as remarkable because everyone will offer a remark. Uh, I'm not an architect or an architecture critic, but my only remark about the design, it tells people we're serious about making a difference in the world. On behalf of the board, I want to thank everyone, both at Boston University and the city of Boston, for making sure we reach today's milestone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Kenneth, uh, and thank you again for uh, all of you for joining us uh, in this exciting moment in the, the life of our institution and, and our community. So I'd now like to invite everyone, I'd like to uh, ask uh, Marianne McKenna and Luigi LaRocca to join us um, over uh, uh, by the pile of dirt over here <laughs> uh, as we officially break ground on the new Center for Computing and, and Data Sciences. So Marianne and Luigi, come on up.